Hello guys, welcome back to Walking World Robots. Let's go. Okay guys, so it's Thanksgiving break and it's been absolutely crazy here at my house, making it very hard and you know for me to do recordings. The new way I have been doing them for you guys, you know, as far as like just dubbing the sound from the game itself and then um actually commenting afterwards. Um, you know, so I'm I'm realizing it's it's really delaying the process. I usually just wait for them to go out on the road and go shopping and whatnot for me to get get stuff done but black friday is gone and everybody is just in the house bumming out cooking crazy family coming to visit it's just really going on anyways um decided let me try to make some games for you guys um decided to start with war robots because war robots has updated and it's gone through update and um, I'm, I'm really liking how it's looking um I am getting stale with the game pretty much. Um, let's see if I could find my menu. Okay, so in the top left corner here where it says my name, and I changed my name by the way. I think I think I have I don't think I've done a video since I've changed my name. So my new name I don't even want to touch that uh recording thing there. So new name Jack in the middle and of course the um it, it wasn't big enough so I had to cut off the E and put the Y T. Just trying to get some advertising done, why not? You know, um Alright, so this is the current lineup I'm working with here. Um, I told you guys I was in an event working on my Orkins. Not it's showing my Orkin is 11, um, level 6. And that is very wrong because I know, I know, I know, I know for sure. We have, I've been going through crazy up, upgrades. I even have screenshots. I'm even going to show you a screenshot of a $15 million upgrade that I'm doing on the Orkin right, right now. All right, so the Orkin should be level 9. Hour. So let's ignore this for a second because this might be incorrect. Let's go out here and check it out in the main screen. Um, it says Orkin, speed up Orkin upgrade to 11, 11. So the Orkin is level 10 right now as the Orkin I'm rocking right now. Um, so the Orkin Bulgazari, I'm just trying to find a, a team that kind of wins. Um, I was running a fun team, running um, the Fujin with, with the Punishers. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. But we also have a new map going on in the game. So let me stop talking. Let's see, because I don't want to do a video too long. And of course, I want to run a full match for you guys. So it's already almost five minutes into the video. So let me just go ahead and try to get out here. And um been doing domination because domination is a little bit slower. All right, so this is not the, the map. The new map is called um, Dragonaut. Right, I think it's called Dragonaut. I wanted to show you that, but... um. But here we are, we are at the power station. And all this looks updated. The, all the, the tiling, everything looks different. It's looking really nice, guys. I'm, I'm actually surprised how smooth the gameplay is going right now. When I try to live stream this game, it is crazy as far as the lag we feel when I try to live stream this game. So, all right, so I'm trying to set myself up here, get ready to be kind of like a sniper with this 500... 500 range weapon I got going on here to to um, give this guy some trouble because he's gonna yeah, all right so he's gonna overcommit himself to try to go get that beacon and that's good for us because let me see if I could just suppress him back there keep him keep him suppressed behind there because I mean you are just crazy dude all right I'm, I'm gonna finish out this um this clip finish out this clip here and get reloaded because that's just crazy to try to run up in there. Okay, I fell off the, the ballistic here. All right, so here we have some guy who's going to try to creep us from the back. And, um, all right, so it is slowing down a little bit. There we go. I, I've been experiencing a lot, a lot of lag and slowing down a little bit. So um, I've just been trying to figure out as, as the game kind of gets more hectic and, uh, you know, harder to... Um, harder to, to work out you know I've been just trying to figure out how to how to work with what I have and and it's like you know what 
you um instead of getting mad at what's going on out there and the weapons people other players are running and stuff like that i said you know what let me just um work with what i have and um learn to deal with it right learn to deal with it and i just play the game in the best way i can so with the robots the i have a few robots that's been working for me this here master shredder being one of them has always been working for me sometimes he gets outdone you know like you can see um this this dude over here all the way back here with his um with his with his zeus on his carnage is really bugging us a little bit but okay but think if you think war-minded him being over there, being one player, being pinned down, not helping his team on this side, it's kind of helping my team on this side because he, where he could be lending a lot more pressure, he's not. All right, so now I'm going to push myself over here on this side here and um, see if I could lend some support because now they're brave and they're pushing out. All right, so boom, he's, he's within 500. I'm going to take some shots. This Leo could, this Leo could take some hits. All right, so he got two zoos running on his head there, and he's feeling really bad, feeling really big, feeling capable. All right, let's switch out and, and go to the, go to Mr. Lom. Um, all right, I'm going to come in. This is a bill. I, I really used to did not like this bill. And um, again, probably because it's gold weapon, can't really afford it too much. Uh, can't really afford it too much. So, But here we go. Uh, it's a bill that's very deadly in the corners you know as far as um it's being a bill people were really hurting me with so i said you know what now i could try it i might as well try it so i got aphids i got aphids let's let's use them you know use so, boy those tarants really hurt those tarants really hurt but i just i have to i just have to keep trying guys because because you know you, you you can't you can't lay down can't lay down so like i said um you know see how it's going just just play calm all right now this guy's back there i think i'm the best person to go get him i don't i want to make sure i am the one that's going to go get him and the team stays kind of focused on what they need to do okay we got them because it, this is still the same old war robots a lot of kids played and you find that you know as soon as you leave one station something starts going down somewhere else so it's kind of like you you have to kind of just stay focused and and do what you got to do you have to do everything you have to be the guy everywhere you know nobody's going to be nobody's going to cover you like you're thinking hey i'm going to go over here i'm going to go do this somebody might cover me it's not going to happen guys all right so this guy is exposing exposing himself a little bit again trapping himself over there in the corner i'm going to allow myself to come back this way all right here goes those dreaded rockets i hate all right this guy's gonna try to hide off in the cutty back here and and take us down one by one i'm, ju I'm just gonna let it play how it is i like I, I like that my team is being able to push I'm trying to wait for this dash to come in all right so yeah he's trying to, he's trying to do one-on-one -on -one fights over there i'm gonna let it happen i'm gonna let it happen i'm gonna try to come back on this side over here unless there's a guy coming down the middle i could i could help hit up here now that guy has to be a rhino when you when you're pounding on somebody and nothing is happening it's a rhino putting up his that big shield all right this guy's exposing himself let's see all right he's gonna go back and hide all right so so he took whoever he was working on lost that one-on-one -on -one match all right boom they're creeping on the side over here but it's, it's good because i think they are nervous i think all right i think i did good right there i think i did good all right i think i did all right um so what i might do guys i love for you guys to hear the game sound that's why i started doing this thing the other way as far as recording and then dubbing afterwards but um i think now, right now, I am probably making a mistake by running up the middle, but I find that I don't like being isolated, guys. I don't like being isolated, especially with a small guy like this. It just doesn't work out. I, I don't win one-on-one -on -one fights too much. So if I stay with the team, kind of lend support for the team, lend support for the team, just be a gun like this that like, kind of catches people off guard like that, you know, that works out really well. That works out really well. Be a gun like this coming through, 
get catch them off guard, you know. And um, I have my team to support me when they're ready. They'll push in, just like that. When they're ready, they push in. So just just like creep them like this, you know, just one on one like this. This guy works best like this, just like as a one on one guy, just like boom, just catching them unawares off guards like this. This is how my guy works best. So I'm not gonna push too much. I'm just gonna wait because now they gotta know I'm here, and. I'm just gonna hear boom right just like that just like that so I, I find that we're doing okay we're, we're, we're cutting them down we're cutting them down to size oh. we're cutting them down to size I could I could stand up for myself by the time he give me some attention I got guys coming at him doing what they're supposed to do look I already got his shield I already got his shield let's see if I could get all right and he's getting hurt right now. As soon as he's getting hurt, boom, step out, give some damage. All right, I'm not sure who's hitting me. Okay, they're hitting me with rockets from the other side. But he's about to go down. All right, I really got them nervous over here hiding behind this wall. So he's going to try to, he's going to extend himself trying to get me. Boom. All right, so we did good for the team right there. I want to see how we turn out. Boom, look guys, we're winning this. We have five robots still to their three. Um, let me see if I could talk about this one thing real quick for you guys. And it's probably I'm probably going to just end it with this one here. Um, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this. I have a real cool name I was working on. So I guess I'll figure something out. And you guys, will, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys watch it. Um, a lot of gold. I spent a lot of gold. I have a minute left in the match. I don't know if it's going to last. I've spent a lot of gold on this um, Halloween thing that they had come out with. A, a new prize thing. I was almost to 5,000 gold. Basically what the story is, I need 5,000 gold to open up one more hangar slot so I can run with five robots. You can see I just mecked out. They call it mecking out when you run out of robots. So um, I, was up, I was up to like 4,700. Something like, I, I, I don't want you guys to cry. So, but you know, I was pretty close to 5,000 gold. And they came out with this little game that you play. And I was like, I was looking at it. I made a mistake. I'm looking at it. I'm like, you know what? I could win this. I, I, could, I could win. They, they had like one of the prizes was gold, a gold prize. And I was like, I could do this. I could do this. Spend a little bit of gold. Guys, I didn't. I never, up to this, up, up to now, I spent almost all my, I did spend all my gold pretty much. And I never got the, the actual gold prize that I was working on. Because the price, like it would go from 7 gold to 15 gold. Then it'll jump to 50 gold, then 100, 200, until it wiped out my gold. Me trying to get 2,500 2, gold in return. So it didn't it, it didn't work out for me. Um, oh, and, and this didn't work out for me. Let's see where I placed on the team. I was only third and got no gold for this one. Um, got three kills, one beacon. And uh, I did pretty well. I did... I did uh, well, yeah, I pretty much matched their fifth place player also. But um, I think I did all right with 400,000 um, damage points. I'm not going to take the time to... I usually just click on these guys and show you the profile. And look, at least we'll see. So what this that's what we're that's what I'm up against. Expert League and Diamond League. I should be in Diamond... I, I should be in Diamond League 3. Kind of, sort of. I'm over here in Gold League 1. I'm not even really supposed to be here. But, you know... Um, I'm here. It is what it is. So I'm trying to um, in in trying to find a title for the video. I'm actually gonna end it right now. But in trying to find a title for the video, I'm actually trying to have find a balance right now when the matches are getting tough. Trying to find a balance between having fun and and still being competitive. So you know that's kind of where I am back and forth. You guys knew I bought a few a Fujin the other day, and. I decided to like just take it out of the lineup for right now because you know it's 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 um it's not as competitive I don't think as as I really want it to be. I was I put the Tehrans I tried the Tehrans on the Fujin so so basically I, I bench bench my um, Bulgazar. The Bulgazar doesn't work with the um the Punishers too well. And I just find the Punishers take too the Punishers do a lot of damage but they take they they you have to sit there and expose yourself. You know, firing, 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 expose yourself. So you have to basically empty the entire clip on somebody to get the damage done. And that, that kind of just like takes too long. We're basically one one clip of the Tehran, which expends itself so quickly 
does a great deal of damage. So I tried the Tarns on the Fujin. It, it was nice, but I said, you know what? The Fujin has more hit points. It's more um, more mobile as far as I don't have to lock down. Sometimes I could I could keep it moving. I could hit and run, hit and run, whatever the case is. So um, so I, I went back to the dash robot and. Um, so anyways thanks for keeping thanks for you guys being here if anything you guys want to see any any advice for me i'm still a new player in the game i'm basically trying to introduce this game to um to my to my other subscribers that base that are interested in other games that we really play on the channel you know so i'm really trying to get them interested in something different to kind of you know change the change the mode a little bit and um so I just wanted to put out a game for you guys. There are new games I'm looking to play for you guys and whatnot. But anyways, this is War Robots. Thanks to all my War Robots fans. Thanks for being here with me. And uh, see you guys in the next one. All right. You guys be blessed. And bye-bye.